Alex from Messy Painting here, just introducing my uh, next project, my next Necron project, because I know there hasn't been a Necron update video for a while. Uh, Rise of a Pharaon is still uh, continuing, but I'm sorry I haven't got an update for that out for a while. Um, but anyway, my next Necron video will be these flayed ones. The main reason I got these was because... Uh, uh, the Silver Demon at my local Games Workshop this month is themed Madness, and I thought no better way to represent both Necrons and Madness than Flayed Ones. Um, so, I know that lots of people, including me, think in the game these things are, well, let's just say they're absolutely rubbish. <laughs> I mean, they have a few good points, but in my opinion they're not worth the... 15 points each or whatever it is they're not even worth that they're they might be all right as troops or at least unlockable as troops but i mean they're elites and they have about the same stats as warriors they're worse than immortals and they're elites so i really don't think they're worth it but just from a painting point of view these guys are great actually using flesh tones i might you know make some other flesh look rotten or other fun stuff like that i might you know do all that fun stuff with gore blood rotting flesh but there are a few problems well basically i walked into the store and i thought it was a great idea until i saw the box of five flayed ones for 25 pounds that that's five pounds a model five pounds a model yes they're fine cost but to me that just makes it even worse <laughs> so i searched up on ebay to see if i could get a better deal and uh, sure enough i got a buy it now for flayed ones for uh, 17 quid now i know that isn't that much cheaper i'm not really into all that ebay bidding malarkey so instead i just uh, bought these four guys for 17 quid now as some of you will know you need five flayed ones i'm pretty sure to make up a unit so obviously they need a leader and i will make him out of a warrior and his claws as well as flesh made of green stuff probably um will be made of these vampire counts pieces which were going spare at my local games workshop um which are pretty cool obviously this one's a bit bigger than a normal flayed one claw but uh i think it works just as well especially since he's law wise the leader and um also the other thing to state you won't really be able to see in this video but this claw seems to have a little face on here um which I don't know if that's supposed to be that, I suppose so, um, but that works especially well for flayed ones because obviously they wear the flesh of their enemies, so um, it's someone's face, yay! And uh, also this one has um, kind of skin between the uh, claws or whatever. Um, now, I've never done metal models before, so there have been a few challenges that with this. Um, Mostly, the biggest challenge has been in packaging a few of the claws snapped off. Now, I'm pretty annoyed about this because the packaging was not very good, to be honest. It was in a small cardboard box, and then there was a lot of packaging, a lot of um, cut-up bits of magazine, but all, them, all of the bits of magazine were on top of the tiny bag containing all four of them. Now, I know the bag probably... Uh, the, it was like a small resealable bag probably started off in the middle but on its journey it fell down to the bottom but the stupidest thing is putting all four of these guys in the same tiny bag but i mean i don't know um so a few of the claws snapped off anyway and uh i tried gluing them back on with super glue obviously not plastic glue and it just wouldn't really stick <laughs> i mean i don't know if any of you have the same problem with metal minis but the glue just took ages i tried like five times it was pretty frustrating i had to hold the claw on for about 15 minutes before it would actually stick enough for me to let go of it it was just ridiculous <laughs> anyway the other problem i'm having is that if you can see the primer i've just carried them upstairs in one hand and Already tons of the primer is scratched off to reveal the um, silver, the pewter, I think it is, underneath. And if you can see, if I just scratch that, 
with my nail, all of that primer just comes off like that. It's hardly sticking at all. And obviously primer is supposed to be more sticky than normal paint, so if the primer doesn't stick, well, the paint will have even less of a chance. So in the comments below, tell me if you know anything about that or anything to solve that. And I'm also worried about the fact that, you know, if the primer is not sticking underneath and then I paint over it, the paint will come off with the primer. So maybe I should just strip the models of the primer first. And if I was going to do that, please also leave in the comments any ideas you have about how to strip metal models of their paint or primer. But anyway, that was just a little update on um, the next Necron project, besides the Rise of a Pharaon project. Um, I will fairly soon have a video of these guys up painted. Remember, I've also got to fully make um, the leader from scratch, so it might take a while, but until then, or in until Tom's next video, please watch some of our other videos, like, comment and subscribe, and this is me, Alex from Messy Painting, signing off.